Welcome everyone. The first step to access an FTP server on iPhone is you will need to use an app from the App Store called FTP Manager. If you don't like this app, there are other alternatives available. When it asks to connect to devices on your local network, I recommend you turn that one on. And so from here, you're going to tap on the plus and you're going to see plus for FTP server or SFTP server. So if you don't know which one you want to use, just try the FTP first. The display name is what the app will show the server as. So you can put whatever you want here. You then need the host name or IP. So this is the IP address for the FTP server. If you are trying to connect to an FTP server on the same Wi-Fi network, that would typically be 127.0.0.1. Okay, but if you're trying to connect to a remote server, then you will have to enter in the IP it shows. If you want to add a custom port, then you can add one here, but otherwise it will use the FTP default port so if your server is using a custom port only, enter in that custom port. And then from here, you can select the protocol. I don't recommend changing this, but if you are having errors, you may want to use FTP over TLS, which is a more secure connection. You can now see the transfer mode, passive and active. It doesn't matter what you select here. The path, so this is the path you would log into. If you know a path, let's say slash home, slash users, username, and you just want to go there, then you can just enter this one in. But if you're like me and you can't remember your path, then just set this to nothing and you'll be in the root folder if you have a username and password for your FTP server, you can enter in the username and password here. If you are having connection issues, you may want to use the compatibility mode. And so once you have everything set, just tap on save and you can see your connections here and then connect. Now, as I have not entered in the correct information, I will get an error. But if you do get in successfully, you'll be able to see all of your files and you can upload your files, search for files and download the files from the server to your iPhone. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.